Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we use the Dan Corneff trick to make your snare fatter and wider. Friend of the channel and personal friend of mine, Dan Corneff, has been mixing records for a very long time, with some really notable credits under his name. He's also been making plugins that we've featured on this channel before. But now we're going ahead and using something that he put in his Discord, which I'll put a link in the description for that, but he also put it in a blog post on how to make your snare fatter and wider using two instances of the Corneff Audio Micro Digital Reverberator. We're gonna go over that and then you can use this with either those plugins or your own to work your snare drum. So let's dive into the DAW and take a listen to some fat wide snare drums. Okay, so here we are inside of our session and what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm just gonna go over to my drums and I'm gonna solo them out. I'm still working on this mix, but I feel like the drums are pretty much there. But then I did this and it kind of brought the drums a little bit more alive. Let's just listen to where the drums are right now without doing the fat or wide snare. So you can hear there's some room going on because there was a room mic during this live acoustic recording, but it's honestly, it's still a little dry for me. It could be a little bit fatter as well. And you can do that with EQ, but if I want it to be not only fatter, but also maybe a little longer, doing this first trick, the fatter trick, kind of helps out a little bit. So after you've done your processing, what you're gonna do is insert an instance of the micro digital reverberator. When you're in here, and this is not the default setting, up on top, you're gonna to wanna to switch over to machine two, and then just navigate using the arrows, two clicks to preset number zero three, small bright 0.3 seconds. This is a very short reverb, but it's also bright. And then also take a look at this. We've done this on the snare track itself. So we've taken the dry control and brought it all the way clockwise. This doesn't do any attenuation to your signal. So it allows all of your signal to come through. Then for the wet, we've backed it off a little bit and you can mess around with this to get the right blend for your snare. And what we're doing is basically just adding in some of this short reverb. So I'm gonna solo just the snare drum and after a couple hits of the snare, I'll take this out of bypass and you'll hear how the snare gets nice and fat. So you can hear it adds a little bit of body and a little bit of length, and that's exactly what we want. We want that fatter snare. But there's something you can do with the Corneff Audio plugins, and that's go underneath the hood. When you click on the nameplate, one thing you're gonna wanna do for the fat trick is go to the width control and bring it all the way down. Your snare is mono, most likely, so you want your reverb to sit mono as well. So you just take your width control and drop it all the way down. By default, it starts at 100% and you can bring that all the way down to zero, bringing it mono. So it's going to blend in in mono to your snare drum. And that's really all you need to do for this. Again, adjust your wet setting to blend into your song. I think where we have it here is pretty good for what I'm going for. Now let's do the wide snare. What you're gonna wanna do is instead of putting it on the snare like we've done for the first instance, create a send. However you do that in your DAW, I'm just doing it in Studio One here. I have a send to a bus because I prefer to use buses inside Studio One. You can use an effects track as well or an aux track in Pro Tools or whatever Cubase uses. You know what to do. So create your send and then put another instance of the micro digital reverberator. And on this one, we're gonna change just a couple things. This is the default. When you open up Micro Digital Reverberator, this is what you get. You get a large one, the dry is all the way down. It's also on ascend, so you don't need any dry signal. The wet is all the way up, and the pre-delay is all the way down. Then, before we listen to this one, 
flip it over. So click on the cornf tag and then go back to that width control. In here, increase it because you can go from 100% all the way up to 200%. And I had this sitting around 160 something something. Doesn't matter exactly what it is. But what we're doing is we're pushing the reverb out of the way of the snare drum and making it wide. So the combination of these two things gets you a nice, fat, wide snare. Let's take a listen to this. I'm gonna leave it with the fat snare trick on, and then we'll just turn their send to our wide snare on as well. And you'll hear how the snare just kind of opens up, gets really long, but it kind of has that nice long tail that you look for in your snares. Take a listen. So there you go, now our snare is much longer. It has a nice tail that is pushed out to the sides. So we have this very wide snare. The combination of these two have increased or made a very pleasing sound for the snare in this track. Let me go back to all of the drums and I'll solo everything out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on and off the snare wide. I'll leave the fat on, but I'm gonna turn on and off the snare wide send. So just a couple quick little things to make your snare fatter and wider. This drum recording was a live set and they only did a mono room. But when I turn the wide snare send on, it almost gives me the sense of the room being wider, even though it is mono and I haven't done anything to do any kind of spread on just the single microphone that was in the room. The snare wide is kind of giving me that width that I want because it also has that tail that we're looking for from that kind of room sound. This may not work in every production, but for this one that I'm working on right now, I think it's gonna blend in really well. It's kind of suiting the song and that's most important is do what you need to do to suit the song. This made the snare fatter without using EQ and it made it wider and longer, which the song kind of needs because it's a relatively slower song. It's at 104 beats per minute, but the style of song kind of wants that snare to hit and kind of arc out a little bit longer than if it was just dry. Like I said earlier, this was pulled from the Cornef Audio Discord as well as the Cornef Audio blogs. Reading blogs and articles, as well as joining associated discords, are a really great way to pick up little nuggets of knowledge just like this. You can find a lot in other videos, but not everything comes through to a video. That's why it's important to branch out a little bit, read some articles or join a Discord and actually get tips like this from people who are actively using it. So you can go ahead and join Dan's Discord or you can also join my Discord, which there is also a link in the description for. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For booking information, visit timplansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.